New NBC News poll that shows that the tide appears to be turning on the idea of a public option in health care. In fact, more Americans, 47 percent, now oppose a public option than favor it. You see the numbers right there. Um, and 54 percent of Americans are more concerned that the government will go too far in reforming the nation's health care system than it won't go far enough. With me now live to talk about all this is Congresswoman Maxine Waters of California. Congresswoman Waters, good to see you again. Thank you. Good to see you. Congressman Waters, so what do you make of this? Because the president certainly has put forth a meaningful amount of effort over the last several weeks, including going to various parts of the country. We saw him in New Hampshire. We saw him in Colorado. We saw him in Montana. But he seems to be losing uh, the message war. Is it time to uh, effectively retreat on the public option question and get through some kind of health care reform that perhaps doesn't include a public absolutely, option? Absolutely, absolutely not. As a matter of fact, the insurance companies got a head start and they got a jump on us. They went up with their ads. They did a great job of convincing uh, many people uh, that somehow the government was going to take over. It was going to be too expensive. It was not the thing to do. And so they got a jump. They got a head start. But now we began to fight back and you will see those polls change because people don't know absolutely what a government option is, what that means. We've got to define it. We've got to keep talking about it. We've got to help the American people to understand that the insurance companies have basically taken advantage of the American people. Uh, we have 47 million people without insurance, but more than that, the cost of, in, of the premiums have increased tremendously over the past several years. More profits for the insurance companies the top 10 CEOs of the insurance companies, healthcare insurance, are making over $10 million a year. So we've got to fix this broken system. And I think that the American people will get the truth as we continue to talk about it. But isn't the, the message that uh, has really not come through in this whole presentation of a health care reform bill, the fact that we have to find a way to cut costs and that the public option is probably the most effective way to cut costs because of the competition it will present to the insurance companies. That message, do you agree, has not come through? Absolutely. We have not. As I said, the insurance companies through their ads and even those elected officials who were representing the insurance company interest got out of, in front of us. They have been able to undermine our efforts to describe a public option. We've got to do a better job of explaining it. Yeah, Congresswoman Waters, if you uh, look forward here, are there Republicans, uh, you've spent a lot of time uh, on Capitol Hill. Are there Republicans that you think the president maybe has bypassed who could be part of a bipartisan solution? In other words, has he focused too much on the usual suspects? And are there some unusual suspects, maybe a retiring senator like uh, Mel Martinez of Florida or others who could be part of an unusual coalition? Well, let me just say this. If there's any president that's reached across the aisle and tried very hard uh, to get support on this issue and other issues is this president. President Obama has been extremely uh, forceful in trying to get uh, support from the Republicans. They just are not coming around. And it's not simply about health care uh, uh, reform, in my opinion. It's because it's a political issue issue with many of them. They have decided this is the way to bring this president down. They are being the loyal opposition on this issue because they are centered and focused on taking back the White House. Congressman Waters, final question. We have about 30 seconds here. But if President Obama comes to you and other members of the Democratic caucus over the next three or four weeks and says, no one wants health care reform more than I do, but the reality is I can't get it done with a public option. I need to do it without a public option. I'll come back to that later, but I can't get it done without a public option. Will you, and I need your vote, will you vote to support him uh, on that? And will you vote for health care reform that does not include a public option? What you have seen is an opportunity, I mean, a, a, a chance uh, by the White House to basically uh, kind of put that message out there and see what would happen. And let me tell you what happened when they floated it. What happened was there was a great pushback 
from the progressives uh, in this party, from the uh, leadership of this party, and I think they have seen very clearly that they must have a public option in order to get this bill passed. And so, no, I am not going to fold on that. I'm not going to give in. I'm going to be very strong. I'm going to work with the others who I think are in the majority in our caucus to make sure that we get a public option. That's what we've got to have in order to create competition so that we can drive down the cost of health care insurance. Congressman Waters, thank you so much for joining us. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.